Hey y'all, and welcome back to Southern Gal on a Budget. So I'm here today to kind of give you guys a little bit more information about myself. Um, some questions that I have jotted down. I believe there's about 30 questions that I jotted down. Just, you know, certain things so that you guys can learn a little bit more about myself. And hopefully, hopefully you will enjoy um, all the information that you have found out about me. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and just jump right in. Um, it's kind of a gloomy day here. Um, we were supposed to be getting a tropical storm warning um, last night into today. So, it's mostly um, a whole bunch of rain. And it's just like a horrible day here. It's just one of those days you want to cuddle up, get a nice blanket, pop in a movie, get some popcorn, and just chill out all day. Um, my kids had a two hour delay this morning, so I don't have much time today to do what I wanted to do because of that. But that's totally okay. Life happens. Um, these storms and these um, hurricanes happen, especially during this time. I do pray for all the um, people that live in Texas, Houston, and the surrounding areas that have got it, gotten that um, hurricane. You guys are still on my mind. I send all the prayers your way and hope that everything will work out okay. Um, so just kind of letting you guys know if you guys are from Texas and um, just letting you know that you're on my mind and I pray and hopefully I can do um, as much as possible from over here, um, maybe to give help, help out as much as I can, maybe send some care packages to, um, the Red Cross or something like that. A little bit goes a long way, so definitely if you're able to help out, definitely do something. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into some of my questions that I have, um, answered for you guys to learn a little bit more about me. So, what's my name? My name is Courtney Renee, um... I'm not going to really give you guys my last name just for personal reasons, um, so, but I'll let you know my first la my first and middle name, and it's Courtney Renee. It's C-O-R-T-N-E-Y, and my middle name is R-E-N-E. -E. So, I do spell my name a little bit different than the normal um, way of spelling Courtney, which is C-O-U-R-T-N-E-Y, or K. O U R T N E Y. It's spelled with a K or a C, but I spell it C O R T N E Y. It's Courtney. It's straight and to the point, and a lot of times I'm straight and to the point. And um, my mother chose to spell it that way, and and I definitely don't have a problem with it. Um, when people ask me what my name is and they do spell it with the U, I don't get upset about it. It is what it is. Everyone spells their name differently, and that's a great. Thing to have. Don't always be the cookie cutter, um, you know, black and white, it is what it is. Be different, be unique. And I think that I definitely am that with the spelling of my name and my own personality. Um, I did look up what it means in um, English. It is an English name. It does mean lives in the court. Don't really know much about, like, you know, the meaning of it, but just kind of giving you a little bit about it. Um, where are you, where am I from? I am from Jacksonville, North Carolina. I was born and raised here, but my family is from Macon, Warner Robins, Georgia. So shout out to Georgia. Um, my mom is from Macon, and so it is great to have um, a southern state. <laughs> Anyways, but. Where do you live? I live in Jacksonville, North Carolina. So not must think, nothing really has changed from when I was born to who I am today and where I live. Um, I do live in a military base. Um, I live near Camp Lejeune, um, Jacksonville, North Carolina. So I do live near... Um, a Marine Corps base, so shout out to um, the Marines and shout out to all the branches of the military. I support my Marines and I support my military, not because I live in a military town, but because I support 
the United States of America and I support the military and the people and the women and men that fight for our country. So um, that's a little bit more of a side note of my city and where I live at, if you guys did not know. Um, what do I do for a living? I'm not going to get really too much into it just because um, I don't want that really broadcasted of exactly what I do or the company that I work for, but I do work for a grocery store. Um, and I will say I don't work for Walmart, so nothing against Walmart, but I don't work for Walmart. I work for another local grocery store in my town. And I do health and beauty care and specialty items throughout the whole store. So I do have to um, offload trucks. I have to downstack them. I have to organize them. I have to put them on the shelf. I have to clean. I have to check dates. I have to lift heavy items, sometimes a lot more than 50 pounds, which is required for my job. Um, so I do a lot of physical activity every single day, and I'm constantly moving and constantly zipping up and down the aisles and providing customer service for everyone that enters the store. So that's a kind of a little bit what I do for a living and I have been with this company for nine years but kind of a little bit side note of that because I live I have been with this company for so long I have recently determined that I want to try and get a new job. I feel like retail is not what I want to do with my life, what I want to make a career out of. I do, um, I do like what I'm doing majority of the time, but here lately within the last probably six months or so, it's gotten pretty, pretty bad in my company where I work for as of management. Um, they don't seem to take care of their associates like I think they should. We all should work as, together as a team, and a lot of times I get kind of pushed into the corner. Like my department isn't as poor, isn't as important as other departments. So I've kind of just been really fed up with it, and I think that I would be more valuable to a company that appreciates me and my hard work. I work hard every single day. And I hurt my body a lot of the time. So another factor of why I think I'm possibly going to get a new job is, yes, I'm young, but I work hard and I lift objects that I shouldn't really have to lift in order to do my job. So my back is starting to hurt worse and worse and worse and my knees and my legs and so if I constantly keep doing this and keep trying to be in this type of job I will be having some serious medical conditions later um, definitely know that my back will have a big, big impact on my life and I need my back y'all I need my back so I can do things with my kids and give them the best life but I won't be able to do that if I'm constantly in pain so it's kind of heavy on my heart with this because I'm really trying to not find a job because I have been with this company for so long. And for someone being my age, um, being with a company for that long is really great because a lot of people who are in their early 20s or even in their late 20s are still trying to find that fit. And so they'll jump from job to job to job. And... I haven't done that. I've been with this company for nine years. That's a pretty long time to be with a company. And of course, I haven't had the same job for nine years. I've moved in different positions in um, my you know, place of employment, but I have been with the same company for nine years. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that. I really don't know. Um, it's really heavy on my heart and I just want to do what's good for myself. I want to do what's good for my kids and our family and my husband. But mostly I want to do what's for myself. I want to do something that makes me happy. I wake up and I enjoy going to work and experiencing new things at work and working with people that want to work with me. 
Um, right now, I feel like no one <clears throat> really wants to work with me. They're like, oh, she'll get, she'll, she'll take care of it. She'll do it because they know that I work hard, that I'm dedicated to my job, that I take pride in my job. So they'll know, they know that, oh, she'll get it done. She'll get it taken care of. Well, I'm not someone to just kind of rush away. You know, I do work hard and I'm going to keep saying that I work hard. But you need to appreciate the hard-working associates, employees that work for your company. Appreciate everything that you do for the company. So it might be the smallest thing, but at least they're doing it, right? You know, they're not just half-assing it. Excuse my language, but they're not just half-assing it, you know? I feel like I am part of the younger generation. One of the questions is how old, how old am I? And I'll let you know this now. I'm 27 years old. My birthday will be in December. <clears throat> and my birthday is December 17th. So I'll be 28 um, at the end of the year. Um, so I am in this younger generation, but I don't have this younger generation of thinking where I think everything is, you know, I deserve everything. I don't have to do anything. I kind of have this old soul, I think, kind of, and where I work hard, I appreciate all the small things and all the big things that anyone does for me, and I usually will do it in return because, like I have said before, I have a heart on my sleeve, and sometimes that is not a good thing for me, and I've learned to kind of let go of that a little bit. But I care about people and I care about their feelings and I care about their well-being and I care about them as a person in general, especially my close friends and my close family and people and close people that I do work with. Um, I care about them and I'm really trying not to cry because I am in somewhat of an emotional person as it is. But that's how much it means to me as a person is I, I care about people. I love people. I love my family. I love my children. I love my good friends. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's, that's kind of where I'm at. And I'm totally going off subject of you guys learning a little bit more about me um, with my questions. But this is learning a little bit more about me. So hopefully you guys will take that um you know, we'll take it okay, and it's a lot, <laughs> and I might go on here with another video shortly, just kind of about my feelings and emotions with this heavy on my heart, on my mind, with trying to determine whether I should try and get a new job or not, so anyways, with that, let's go to the next question, what's my favorite color, uh, my favorite color is green, blue bluish colors um i love those colors but i do like every other color you know pinks and purples um i have grown to like them over the years as growing up i'm not set into just one standard color as for when i was a child i was all about certain colors um the next question what's your favorite music genre um i'm all over the board with this but i would have to say it would be country um, I can listen to country music without, you know, trying to figure out what am I going to listen to today. If I don't find anything on my local radio station, radio station channel, I will always flip to my country music stations because that is something that is in my heart that I love. I love the meanings. I love the artists. I love what country music brings to the table. But overall, I like a lot of other things. I like hip-hop. I like rap um, on certain occasions. More for not the what the lyrics say, but for the rhythm and the tempo and the beat of the music. I like things like that. Um, I like a little bit of rock, um, especially in my older, in my older, in my younger years. Um, I liked, you know, Linkin Park, Blink-182, 
you know, Green Day and stuff like that when I had that little phase. I still do like that music and I'll listen to it, especially if it comes on the radio. I'm like, oh my gosh, I remember this song from so long ago. But anyways, um, that's just kind of my music taste. Um, who's your favorite musician? Um, to go along with the country, I do like Dirk Bentley, Miranda Lambert, Carrie Underwood. Um, I love them as an artist and as a human being. They do things so much more outside of what they do for their career as in helping their community and helping um, others. So that's really awesome um, for them to do that. All right, what's my favorite food? Um, that's a really tricky one for me, but I do love Mexican food. I love some shrimp tacos, like it's something because those are so good. Oh, kind of want to have Mexican tonight for dinner, but I'm not sure what we're having for dinner. But I like Mexican, I like Italian, I like, you know, Southern food. Um, my mama always cooked dinner every single night even after she came home from work. And majority of the times, it was all handmade, scratch made. Um, and my mom only knows how to cook. So I have learned from my mom. And I have also put my own personal takes on things because my taste buds have changed over the years. So comment below, let me know if you guys, um, if your taste buds have changed as you have grown up or matured to becoming the adults that you are or the people that you are today um, because I know that even five years ago some of the stuff that I'm eating now I would have never touched never ever touched and been like no get that away from me don't put that on my plate I don't want that I don't care but now I'm like give me more give me more so um, my favorite drink um, that's another thing I do like myself a cherry Coke, Dr. Pepper. Um, my mother loves Dr. Pepper, so when I was growing up, it kind of was something I always saw when she would have them on um, occasion, but she likes Dr. Pepper. But I love, I love cherry Coke. I always get it when we go to the movie theater, or if I see it anywhere, I'll usually snag up cherry Coke. Um, my favorite snack, um, that's another thing. I'm really bad about eating snacks some of the time um and that's one of the reasons why i want to start going out to the gym again not because i think i'm overweight but just to get more toned um i've just kind of taken a really long break about going to the gym and it's really been driving me crazy so I need to lay off on the snacks, but it's okay to have some once in a while, but I would have to say my favorite snack is popcorn. I will eat a whole big tub of popcorn within a few minutes, it seems like. <laughs> I love some popcorn. It's so good. It just is something you just cannot put down. You just keep going and keep going and keep going. So... Next question would be, what's your favorite holiday? Um, my favorite holiday is Christmas, and it's coming real soon. And I don't know why I'm singing like this. But I love Christmas, um, maybe because that's my birthday month, but I just love Christmas. I love the meaning of Christmas. It's when Jesus was born. And I just love decorating for Christmas. I love getting gifts for family members, for friends, for you know, special people in my life. I love creating new things for people. Um, I love doing certain projects for Christmas and Christmas trees, Christmas lights, you know, cocoa, Christmas cookies, all your sweets and stuff. It's around Christmas time, majority of the time. So Christmas is one of my favorite holidays, seasons ever. Um, favorite sport? Um... Funny thing is, I am totally into watching football. Now, I used to watch football when I was in high school. I would go to high school, you know, games, and I would go with my dad because he likes watching um, high school football games. But other than that, I wouldn't really go watch any type of sports. I would be in a lot of sports um, in high school. I have played um, sports since I was five years old 
from playing t-ball to coacher's pitch to baseball to softball and then into um, high school I did play golf for three years um, on my high school girls golf varsity team. I also have played basketball a little bit but didn't really like that too much but mostly it's been like baseball, softball, and golf majority of my life. But football Within the last, I want to say, five years or so, I have gotten, like, really mad. I don't know the word, but I've gotten into football, NFL football, you know, National, you know, National Football League. Um, I do have a favorite team, and I will discuss that later. <laughs> But I like football. I understand football. I get aggressive. I will scream at the TV. I will scream at a game. I have been to an NFL game twice. Um, so I will get into it. I'm not your typical girl. I get full on into watching football. So I'd have to say that that's my favorite sport to watch. Um, on TV or to just watch in general. Um, something that you're talented at, I would have to say that is thinking outside of the box when it comes to doing my crafts um, or my DIYs, which I'm going to be having those real soon. So you guys make sure you hang on to your seat real tight because I'll be putting them out real soon. I promise you that. But I am very creative. I do think outside of the box. I paint. I make things um, uh, with everyday products um, and then also I like to bake. Um, baking is one of my, oh my gosh, I need a nap now. Baking is one of my big things so I will bake um, sweets for my family and my co-workers all the time. Um, something that I wish I was talented at that I'm not. And I don't really know the answer to that question because I think I'm numb. I wish I was talented at a lot of things. I think we all think that we wish we were something that we're not. Um, but the, the goal is to not be so harsh on yourself, but just to realize um, that you can achieve these goals if you put your mind to it and you set a goal to successfully get it done. All right, um, are you competitive sometimes? And it wasn't so much when I was a kid or a child. It was more now as an adult. If it is some type of game or activity, I do try to do the best I can. So sometimes I am competitive. I will get in your face <laughs> and stuff like that. But it's all for fun and games. Um, describe yourself in one in a single sentence. I'll have to say that I am a strong, loving, caring individual. Um, favorite subject in school would be science. I love science. I love, you know, anything to do with it. I still think it's really fascinating. Um, so, um, who has left the most impact on your life. I'd have to say that it's my grandmother, Mary, my grandma, Mary. She has gone and passed away and she is in heaven now. Um, but I got the best advice from her when she was alive. She was one of those people that would say whatever came to mind, whether it hurt your feelings or not, she would say it. And I wish to this day that she was still around to see my children and so that my children could experience her. And yet again, I'm not trying to get emotional, but it seems to be like flowing over here. Anyways, but that's someone who has, has impacted my life and I greatly appreciate my grandma Mary and hope that she is doing well in heaven and I will see her soon. Um, who do you have as a best friend? Now, I would have to say I have a lot of best friends when I was younger, I have a few now as an adult. Um, it seems to be when you are an adult, your friends seem to change. 
message because they either don't like the life you're living now or the fact that you have kids and you can't do what they're doing or blah, 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 blah. Whatever the circumstances might be, it seems that you lose friends. And I do wish I had a little bit more of a circle that I would have more friends or more, you know, people to come over and have a good time with. But the best friend that I have right now, and he's with me every single day, and that would be my husband, Jason. He's my best friend, no matter what. I can tell him anything, he'll listen, he'll help me do whatever he can in any type of situation. And I love him for that. My favorite quote, and it actually is tattooed on this side of my shoulder, it is a quote by Abraham Lincoln, and it says, and in the end, it's not the years in your life, it's the life in your years. And I got this tattoo for my grandmother, speaking of the best or the most impact in your life. Um, age is just a number, and it shouldn't mean anything to you as an individual, I guess is what I would say. You know, live your life to the fullest and don't let other people drag you down because of your age, your color, your race, your sexual, you know, your your sexuality, whatever it might be. Don't let them drag you down. Don't let them drag you down. Um, and the next question, what countries would you like to visit? I would love to visit Ireland. I would love to visit Italy. I would love to visit London, Paris, in that, um, you know, those countries over in that area, especially Ireland. I have heritage from Ireland. And then Italy, I would love to go for the food. I would probably come back like 20 pounds heavier. And England, the same thing. I always wanted to go over to Paris and England and visit those countries. Um, do I wear heels or flats? That's a really random question. It just depends on my day. Now, if I am going out with my husband, I don't tend to wear heels. I'm a little bit taller than he is. But majority of the time, I wear flats. I do wear heels. I do have lots of shoes. <clears throat> excuse me actually and I do love wearing heels but I just don't wear them as much as I want to because um I'm 5'10 speaking about heels 5'11 according to what my husband says because he's like you're so much taller than me which he's not he's like five he's like I'm 5'10 and you're taller than me so you obviously are five ten and a half or you're 11 you know 5'11 <clears throat> weight of course, not every woman's going to, you know, give this out, but I think I'm comfortable enough with sharing with you guys weight. I'm about 200 pounds, but like I said, I'm 5'10", so that's a lot of weight to cover this big, you know, glass of water up here. Um, but I do tend on toning up that muscle of mine and getting rid of some of that fat that I do have, so... Hopefully, I will start losing some weight soon and lower that number because to me, that seems like a really big number, but my husband is like, you're not fat, you're not this, you're, you know, wonderful the way you are, and I love him for that. My age, I already said that, I'm 27. Um, favorite animals, I have to say, are turtles and penguins. I have two tattoo, two tattoos tattooed on my foot. That's a tongue twister in itself. Um, two turtles on my foot. One represents my son and one represents my daughter. I love turtles. I freak out about them. And I freak out about penguins because they're just so darn cute. Oh my gosh. And this is the way they walk. Oh my gosh. I love them. Anyways, let's get off of that. Um, do I have any pets? No, currently we don't have any pets. Um, we are renting a property and we're not allowed to have any. We're in the process of finding a new home. So we hope to find one real soon so we can get our own little fur babies. But I did have pets growing up. I had cats and I had dogs um, all my life. So I do love animals with a passion. Um, my hair color, because you guys can't really see it. It's been up majority of the time with my videos. But I have an ombre looking hair from brown into like a caramel into a bleach blonde. Um, I think personally I'm going to be 
getting that taken care of real soon. I'm going to be chopping all this hair off because it's getting to the point that I just, I'm tired of it. Tired of throwing it up in a bun. Tired of it. Just cutting it off. Doing a little trim it up. So with that being said, I'll probably be cutting it and coloring it to more fall colors with maybe a dark brown or black colors because I tend to go those during the fall. Um, do I have any siblings? Yes, I have one sister. She's a half sister. She lives in Minnesota. So I don't get to really see her a majority of the time, but I do see her um, through Facebook pictures and stuff like that. I would love to spend more one-on-one -on -one time with her. So shout out to you, Kylie, if you ever get to see this video. I love you and I miss you. And like I've already said, I do have two kids. I have one boy. His name is William Noah. I do call him Noah majority of the time. I just love that name. I've always called him that since the day he was born. But I do call him by his first name, which is William. He just turned eight in July. And then I got a baby girl, and her name is Mackenzie Renee. If you guys just heard, I called my daughter Mackenzie Renee. Um, she does have the same middle name as me. And she just turned seven. Um, just a few days ago. So, those are my kids. I do want two more, um, and hopefully I will get them. If not, I'm totally okay with that. But I'm going to end this questionnaire. You guys find out a little bit more about me. I know I kind of ranted a little bit about certain things. Might do more of a blog about that. But hope you guys enjoyed. Give me a big old thumbs up if you loved finding out new fun facts about me, random things. Might do a couple more of these just about um, with other questions. But I got, hope you guys enjoyed that. Please make sure you like, you share, you comment, and subscribe below. Hit that little um, bell to be notified anytime I upload with this hot mess going on here. No makeup today. So y'all are getting the full experience of Courtney Renee. But anyways, thank you so much for joining me, Southern Gal on a Budget, and I hope that you guys have a blessed day wherever that might be. Make sure that you love always, and I will see you guys real soon. Bye!